hope I get it right. There we go. So let's talk tools. But to simplify this, if you're just starting out, but it's not thick enough, these are all off cuts. It's all nice cedar. No. Oh, there we go. There, that's perfect. Bigger than I thought. This is just an off cut that I use that I would never, I would have just, you know, gave up for uh, composting. I haven't seen that done in Dremel videos. So this is a walking bear done with Dremel only and, uh, and an ax. Cause right now, this is a little too thick. Give it a little more length. That could be cool. I've got to get this right the first time. Cut it with the grain and thin this down. So just gonna set like kind of a line and hope I get it right. There we go. Actually, maybe I'll leave this little chunk here because maybe I'll make him turning like he's looking. Yeah, there we go, that's cool. So I'm gonna screw this down. So let's talk tools. The 4300 is my favorite Dremel. I'm gonna use pretty much all of these. I love this bit. I like this bit. And this is pretty much one of my go-tos. The flex shaft is good. Uh, Dremel makes a good flex shaft. I've had the Fordhams. I've had the Proxins. Didn't like either one of them. Too slow, not enough power. For me, I like to move fast, as you guys know, for all of you who follow my page. Um, the 4300 is great. The cheap ones are cheap, but they have a great return policy. So if you break it, take it back to Home Depot, they'll just give you a new one, trade it out. Now, I'll look at the bear as a reference, kind of thinking to myself, okay, you know, we'll bake his head here. Uh, you know, something like that. When I start turning the body, because I'm gonna look at it like this. The spine is here, this'll be hips, this'll be hips here, and then I turn the head, and then as I look, I'll make the head looking like this. So I'm thinking about the bones, and the shoulders, and then I'm looking at the bare head, and that's kind of how I'm gonna carve this. So let's get started, and uh, game on. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. I'm gonna start it out with this on the flex shaft. I'm gonna do my best not to use a chainsaw, because if I was using a chainsaw, I would just hammer this stuff out, cut an angle on that, and start to block the head more. For the sake of Dremel, let's do it. All right, this will be my reference. Here we go. Okay, we've got pretty much the general body done. This arm's a little bit off. I might play with it a little more, but I'm gonna move into detailing, and then I'm gonna scoop out this bottom part a little bit. We'll kind of work this, you know? Now I'm doing this negative space here. It's definitely made it a little flimsy. You can see it's a little bendy there. So I have to be careful there. I'm not gonna do the back. There's just not the proportions to get there. And, uh, and then I'm going to use a carbide, small carbide disc and just go over it to fur it. I'll look at, say, like the, uh, the way this bear is here. 
and I'll zoom in and I'll see how the fur pattern is going down. You know what I mean? So the fur pattern going down on every part of it will be important. And then I look at the face and I see that that face is like a bit high. So, okay, I gotta bring this up. I taper back the, uh, the head. And I really start to look at the pictures of the bear. So once I have that, I'll start then. I got this reference here so I can look at this. I can look at this reference here. And I'll start to play with the more intricate details of what we're doing here. If you have the same animal with a picture of its front, its back, its side, like if you have your dog, if you take your dog and you take a picture of its side of its head and the front of its head, underneath its chin, top of its chin, then you can, re or top of its head, then you get a really good idea of what the actual overall three-dimensional look is. But when you don't have that, you're generalizing things. So you're generalizing the bear. Now, if you're gonna do that, you just have to kind of find shapes and planes that are gonna go in that direction. So think of like a cheekbone. Um, you know, you got this big elk head. If you go and watch my elk video carving, you'll see that this is the horns from that. So, you know, I know now right there I've got, this is seven and a half inches to the eye socket down to where the nose cavity is. The mouth is here, which means the nose is gonna come out to here with the uh, cartilage and muscles. And same with here, there's muscles that are gonna come up here on the face. So you really are thinking about bones, then how the muscles lay, and then the fur patterns. But to simplify this, if you're just starting out, just go for shapes and planes. So if you see an, a clear direction change, like, uh, like my nose right here, my nose is going uh, this is the furthest point there's a nostril and then there's a change in direction here you know you go like this there's a change in direction so look for the simplest ways and then when you start to get more technical into doing these things you can really really start to awesome <laughs> really really start to do awesome detail sorry my hands getting tired so I should be up here so I look better but now I'm down here and I look like <clears throat> all right back to it <laughs> hope that helped Okay, detail. Referring, it's a uh, Dremel, kind of like carbide diamond bit. Yeah, let's try it out. Thank you. 
I could touch that up a little bit. Tiny little bit of nose work because I sanded it off. Just get this to burn for a sec. There we go. Just do a final little touch up. This is my first Dremel only carving and I'm pretty happy with it. Saber tooth burrs and some Dremel bits, some carbide bits that you just got off Amazon. But this just kind of goes to show you that you can carve anything from a little scrap of wood and it just takes time. And if you're just beginning carving, look at muscles, look at pictures, look at uh, the bones, draw them a few times. And if it fails the first time, try, try again. Because you know what? I've carved a ton of bears and your one may not be like this the first time. Maybe just work on the head. Maybe try to do that. And, and you know what? Why don't you click this above behind me or when this video is over and hang out and check out the next video because there's a lot of different videos that I've got for chainsaw. You can pick up Dremels because I'm using that at the end of every video. But this right here is Dremel only bear. And that's it. My name's Ryan Cook. Thanks so much. And check out this next video and hang out with me. Later. Ha <laughs> ha. Out of here. He's cool. Very cool. Who would have thought? Thank you.